So the reason the 20-20-20 strategy is so important is because it makes more money, 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 and money. But this one's a secret. I'll come back to that one. So the first 20%, this is equity in the deal. 20%, 20% at purchase. Who has heard in real estate we make our money on the purchase? Yes? We make our money on the? Excellent. When you buy it, you buy it right. You buy it with a 20% discount. Who knows that's impossible right now because MLS has everything at full market. Wrong. <laughs> Sometimes I'll play with you. You can buy right now with a 20% discount if you buy off market. If you do the marketing yourself, go through a wholesaler, go to a real estate agent off market, or you know something about the property that they don't know. For instance, the usage was wrong, like one of our properties we just bought. Usage was six family. We walked into it, did not look like a six family to me, it looked more like a rooming house. And so when we closed on it for 300,000, we went in, only, only initial renovation was change it to a rooming house. Switched to a rooming house, updated the first floor, sold it for $480,000. I'll take that. Oh, hey, John Mello did all the work for us. Let's get, stand up, John, give him a round of applause. Let's give Jonathan Mello a round of applause, yeah. Busted his butt, you're the man. <laughs> There's the 20% equity, right, on purchase. But we also did a little renovation, which is what I just talked about, reno. So 40%, if you add it up, if you buy a property at 20% discount by just the right usage, then you do the reno, which we did. We made it a little prettier. <laughs> we made it a little prettier. That gave us an extra 40% equity. Who's, who can say the word profit? I love profit. That's why we play the game. But if I'd held it, there was still another 20% left. Does anybody know what that 20% is? My real estate investors, what is it? Appreciation. Appreciation. Let's give them a round of applause. Yes. So appreciation, something that you should know about appreciation is it happens 5%. Per year, every year, consistently for the last 40 years. Appreciation of real estate happens at 5% every year for the last 40 years. So if I want 20%, how many years do I have to be holding the property? Very good, very good, we're paying attention, I like this. So four years of holding and I get an extra 20% on the minimum. <laughs> I've probably gotten an extra 40% from holding these last four years because the market's been stupid. It's been unrealistic. There's been inflation on assets. And then I have my 11%. You may not have heard of this one. I call this the decent human being discount. Yeah. The decent human being discount means I raise rents on my tenants. I know, isn't it ironic? Because they're decent human beings, I'm a decent human being, we mutually agree we want to stick in this relationship. And so we move forward together, and I end up with a more valuable property because I invest in multifamily. So you can reasonably, over four years, right, Roger, hold on long enough, right, Brian, it makes sense, hold on long enough, because most people are short-sighted, short not thinking long-term. But you hold on long enough, you can be into these properties at a 60 71% equity position. That would make you rich over four years if you bought enough early on, right? So it's about having a big year and then just hold and be a decent human being. Who commits to being a decent human being? Yeah. Give yourselves a round of applause.